Okay, welcome everybody to take three of the great uh, Robotech space battle. And let's start the royalty free tunes in the background. Pull up Mega Mech and get right to it. So, um, what I've discovered is that it takes entirely too long to. Uh, takes entirely too long to just talk through the entire game. So I'm going to be pausing it and giving you summaries, kind of highlights of the space battle. We're joining in the middle. Here are our belligerents. In the blue and yellow, we have Clan Wolverine Reborn, played by my gamers, the poor guys. They are trying to invade Earth before they can uh, and break the timeline continue completely in 3028. They, um, they are going to be trying to uh, take over Comstar on Earth before Comstar can unpack 50 regiments of Star League mechs and roll over them because they're nowhere near as tough as the clans and Comstar famously stopped the clans at the Battle of Takayan. Um, so uh, technology being used here, uh, Comguard has Star League Royal technology and my guys have raided the clans successfully. Um, so for those of them who aren't watching this, you know, hopefully here's a little bit of a spoiler. They, one of them, one of my gamers has mentioned, hey, if we if we change the timeline now, then maybe Comstar won't poke, you know, won't poke the uh, won't poke the clan homeworlds, and the invasion won't happen. And what I haven't pointed out to them is they already my own characters dressed up as Bandit Cast and raided the clan homeworlds. One of the characters is a defector from Clan Goliath Scorpion, which sends out people into the inner sphere and around to hunt for things. And so the Clan Goliath Scorpion people, you know, who led them back to the Clan Homeworlds, I don't know what to tell you. My players have already poked the bear, so the invasion is, uh, you know, is inevitable. But they're trying the impossible, overthrowing Comstar before they could launch the Jihad. More power to them. Here is what's going on. Comstar forces, fo featured over here on the left, are holding a tight formation. Uh, they are outnumbered and outgunned, and they know it, but they're going to try to take as many people with them as they can before they go. So maximum concentration of fire with the tightest possible defense. Played by the famously, a famously skilled enemy AI is the Clan Wolverine Invaders. They have clan technology in some of their union. So they're running Union Seas, and they have one warship left over from the Rimworld's Republic which is the Jolly Roger, um, and that's the big threat in the game. Battle values are representational to this whole thing, and this is one-eighth of the overall battle. I had originally planned on running all, 100, uh, all 473 pieces in one big armada just for the amazement of it, but it turns out that Mega Mech went and cried in a corner. So I'm going to be giving you the highlights, uh, pausing it off and on see how I can do this just pull that over there giving you highlights pausing it off and on so that we can keep going with the story you don't need to wait five or ten minutes for me to click every option on every unit all right so uh, Comstar has kept tight formation they've moved in and now they're, they're angled over uh, the Wolverines are not holding as tight. They've let their fighters get out in front of them along with their intruder drop, uh, troop transport dropships, which are faster and more maneuverable and a little heavier gunned, uh, to screen their unions. Where is the enemy warship? I don't see it, and I really want to. All right, I'll finish doing the clicks, and I will give you the, uh, I will give you the fallout for this. All right, see you guys in a second. As the, the Comstar pivots and is focusing fire on the lead squatters to try to eliminate them on the path to the jump to the enemy uh, dro enemy dropships. Enemy dropships are opening up. I bet. I just bet that that's the, that those incredibly long shots there is from the enemy warship. All right, I will see you in a sec. All right, so we've got our weapons attacks. Hammerhead Squadron actually was trying to fly through our formation and had some trouble. They failed a piloting roll, took some damage, and I lost two hammer. Uh, Comstar lost two to pilot error. Um, looks like uh, 
enemy also lost two Vulcans to pilot error. Overlord opens fire. One, two, three hits on Iron Eagle 2 squadron and the, the squadron that was out in the enemy formation. So that's good news. One of my warships, uh, one of my, my intruders opens fire and misses a lot. Iron Eagle Squadron 3 hits some of my hammer, uh, has opened fire on my hammerhead squadron. Um, and just a glancing hit. <sighs> Union's opening fire, pours, uh, hits Iron Eagle 2. Hasn't pulled, punch through. The next Union misses everything. Next Union misses every, uh Iron Angel Squadron 1 opens fire on my Overlord. And two Gauss Rifle misses. I like that. Union manages to completely... Uh, Comstar Union managed to completely miss in the Minnesota Wild Squadron. That is my commander's outfit. So the gamer's commander's outfit. So they, they miss incoming fire there. And the Minnesota Wild Squadron scores Gauss and ER medium laser hits on one of my leopards. So they've they've swept him on the flank, and they're starting to, to pour fire in uh, the Comstar fire carrier. A little tag to the Iron Eagles, but nothing more they can handle. One of the enemy intruders. Scores a critical hit, so misses my Overlord. Yeah, liking that. Scores a critical hit on my uh, Leopard and knocks out some Guidance Systems, a Missile Guidance System. Firing at Comstar. The Iron Eagles are evading. Iron Eagles and Iron Angels both miss greatly. Next Intruder is up, misses down the board. Enemy Intruder misses. Oh, Enemy Intruder hits my flagship. Um, not enough damage to punch through. Got, I'm just doing okay on armor. Enemy Leopard. So, Comstar Leopard hits another, uh, another glancing blow on Iron Eagle Squadron. Invading... Okay, misses the capital. Oh man, my uh, second fighter carrier, uh, fighter's carrier dropship is taking more damage. Thruster hit. Tags Minnesota Wild. Uh, starting to wear them down. And. Little tags, little tags. Fire, uh, long range fire from the incoming clans. They are hitting the, they are getting the, uh, tagging the Overlord more than once. Taking hits on the nose and the right side. Nothing big. We're going to wrap it up here with this war, with the warship. And it unloads, uh, oh, took 105 damage to my right side. Possible critical, nothing. Auto cannon bay hits my left side, another 90 damage. That took some thrusters and a sensor hit. So the uh, the invading warship uh, has uh, really started punching through. And they're not through my armor, but they're hitting so hard that they're poking individual holes. My flagship's taking some serious damage. Moving on to the next round. Yeah, yeah, heat is not an issue. Got it. And invaders continue to win initiative. So here's where the fight stands at the moment. I'm holding formation and starting to take hits. Iron Eagle Squadron and Minnesota Wild are coming out on the flanks here. And then the main body of the Wolverines are pivoted and it looks like we're going to crash nose to nose. Uh, yep, and that Kelpie has some uh, has some prototype uh, has some prototype sub naval lasers. Those are tagging me pretty good, and I am not seeing. There it is. There's a warship in the center of the enemy formation. 
That is not bad. All right, I'm going to maneuver. We're going to, looks like we're going to a straight head to head clash. And once I get all the maneuvering done, we will talk about firing. Be back in a moment. All right, so tight formation here. An Iron Eagle squadron has actually punched through our formation, which would be kind of interesting. I've got a couple of squadrons ready to play catch up. And it looks like straight head to head is continuing, it is going to continue on. Got some good ones, and I'm ready to focus fire on the Jolly Roger. I think I will be able to put some hurt on the enemy warship. It's got to be a really high priority, at least for my opening salvos. I'm going to do what I can to take the enemy warship down. All right, I'm going to do a lot of clicking. Back in a second. All right, <clears throat> back from our little pause, and we are looking at... I still have to designate my fire. Never mind, repause. All right, taking a quick look at the weapons fire from round three. One, two, three of my heavies and two of my lighter fighters destroyed outright. Kind of irritated that it doesn't tell me why they got destroyed. I'm guessing it's from overheating. Okay, um, the Overlord opens fire on the enemy battleship and completely whiffs. And it scores a couple glancing hits at Iron Eagle Squadron 2. So the Iron Eagle, the, the Wolverine aerospace fighters are currently flying right through my formation. And I'm scoring some glancing hits, uh, but I'm not taking any of them out as far as I can tell. And firing Gauss rifles and ER large lasers at one of my squadrons also misses. My Union manages to score a glancing hit on the Jolly Roger. Starting to take do some damage there. Ah, two points. 80 points of armor remaining. Goodness. All right. And enemy Unions open up. Nothing. The Iron Eagles open up on my Ahab squadron, and there are my three hits. Got some armor remaining. Ahab squadron still in. One of my unions opens fire on the Iron Eagles. Scores a couple hits, so no catastrophic damage. Alright, and the Iron Angels, the Wolverine's Iron Angels, are pouring fire into the Comstar Rapier Squadron. They're still up in the fight, though. Another couple hits. Uh, where, uh, Comstar Dropship scores another couple hits. On uh, scores a hit on the Jolly Roger. Tags Minnesota Wild and the Iron Eagles as they fly by. Minnesota Wild Squadron it's, uh, engaging in dogfights against uh, Star Comstar Gothas and looks like they're holding their own. Still scoring some uh, Comstars, scoring combining fire. Still scoring uh, the occasional hit on the on the Wolverine's flagship warship, and starting to wear down Iron Eagle Squadron, which ran right out ahead. Lots of misses. Comstar Leopard uh, manages to get a pretty good angle at the Minnesota Wild, and inflicts a couple hits. Tag, you know, tag another tag on the Jolly Roger. Wearing, wearing things down. Invading Intruder doesn't do anything. Invading Leopard also doesn't do much. Still not, still far enough away and high enough tables. Ooh, yes, Comstar. Got, uh, so who got that? Ooh, a Leopard Carrier Vessel manages to score a critical hit on the Jolly Roger. Take a, uh, hits a critical on an autocannon bay. Nice. 
Clan Wolverine opens fire, continues to pound on my rapier, and a couple hits on a leopard. Next carrier vessel, uh, Comstar carrier misses completely. And you can see. Raper Squadron is taking a beating. Ahab Squadron is taking a beating. Coms, uh, Ahab Squadron does score a couple critical uh, scores a couple hits on the Minnesota Wild and Iron Angels. Let's see what else is worth noting. Oh, ooh, the Kelpie <clears throat> got a good tag on it on a lesser on a. On a Comstar with Leopard. And then, last but not least, the Jolly Roger opens fire. And this is what we're really going to pay attention to because Warship Weapons Fire is Warship Weapons Fire. Whoa! Punch through the armor of. Uh, punch through the armor of the, of, uh, the, the lead Comstar Leopard. Armor is destroyed, 5 of structural integrity, possible hit, critical damage, possible hit, SI, no effect. Hits again, and hits again. So really pounding on the lead comp star leopard. As well as take, uh, dealing out some, some lesser hits to my rapier squadron. And a different, and uh, and also pounds a, a one of the Comstar unions. Fire controls and a sensor hit. That's going to make him less effective. So the warship is holding its own, but it's taking fire and starting to take some damage effects. Comstar continues to lose the initiative. Let's take a look where we're at. So here's the Jolly Roger, and you know, in the middle of the formation, which is starting to seem appropriate. You can see I've got one, two, three drop ships that are already in the critical damage and are already looking at pretty, uh, pretty critical damage. Jolly Roger, still looking pretty good. And the enemy formation still, not, I think I might still be able to punch through and do some real damage. Uh, that's a destroyed Vulcan there. But Iron Eagle Squadron is going to sweep around in my rear. Unfortunately, I've got a Spad Squadron here and an Ironside Squadron here that should be able to turn in and, and deal with them. Uh, Rapier Squadron, which is taking some, some serious damage, is over here on the flank, facing off against the Iron Angels. And that's where a lot of the firefights have been. Supporting fire from the Union. All right, we will uh, continue to press forward, and I'll summarize the next round for you. Okay, back and uh, right before we do the fire resolution, here's the layout for the current round. Enemies have uh, started to infiltra uh, infiltrate. We've got Iron Eagle Squadron is flipped around in the rear, but they're taking fire from my defensively placed squadrons, and I've got two more hunting them. Uh, Minnesota Wild Squadron is right in the middle of the Comstar formation, flying around and wreaking havoc. All of the Comstar dropships that can concentrate fire are concentrating fire on the Jolly Roger, trying to take that warship out of the game and even up the odds. That is the number one target with the highest amount of uh, highest amount of firepower and battle value. I'm only degraded her by two percent, but uh, their battle value is like sixty-three thousand or sixty-one thousand. So if I can. If I can take her out, then the, the, the tide swings in my favor. Let's see how we're going to do. So here is the critical aspect of the current turn. Iron Eagles have flipped around behind and have rear arc shots, which they're, uh, looks like they're going to be engaging my Gotha squadron. 
but they are taking the rear arc fire of basically my entire air my entire dropship formation so we'll see if they can survive that um, the Minnesota Wild are come down and strafing through the Comstar formation, but the Gothis, enemy Gotha squadron and Ahab squadrons have slotted in behind them, and we will see if they can take fire as well as they can give it out. And away we go. Ooh, I'm taking losses. Weird thing, auto ejects always show up first. I have no idea why that is. Only I have to scroll down to find out why I'm taking those losses. All right, princess loses at least one Vulcan. Uh, two uh, has one Vulcan destroyed. So if the Overlord opens fire and it's got heavy sensor damage and manages to whiff everything but a couple uh, little uh, hits on clan, uh, on w one of our clan units. Alright. Iron Eagle Squadron opens fire on Ahab, on the Ahabs, and hits, and hits, and hits. My Union does score a couple hits on the uh, Jolly Roger and a couple hits on the Iron Eagles on the third Iron Eagles. Nothing substan substantive. And lots of missing. Gotta love newbie Compass troops. Oh, so Iron Eagle Squadron 2. These guys who are in the rear and they open fire on I Got the Squadron. Bam, bam, bam. And hits and does not punch through, but they're engaging. Okay, Unions, Union C, who's firing? The, the Battle of the Clan versus the, the uh, Star League Royal Unions continues. Doesn't look like any major damage. Um, Comstar does tag Iron Eagles again, no effect. Iron Angels come in, score some good hits, haven't punched through. Another Clan Union. Slam some uh, slam some hits in at the uh, at the Iron Eagle Squadron and on the Jolly Roger. No joy, man. We put a lot of armor on that thing. Minnesota Wild are going after my Hammerhead squ Squadron and hit with everything they fired. It's pretty cool. Might explain my losing me losing those losing some Hammerheads. Okay. And next, uh, Comstar Union doesn't score any significant damage on the Princess, but Iron Eagle 3 Squadron takes some decent hits. Uh, okay, Clan Wolverine the Intruder, no joy. Clan, uh, Clan, so Comstar Union, also more misses than not. Uh, Deuce does score, a, does score a minor hit on the Jolly Roger. One of the uh, one of the clan intruders pours fire into a leopard and some fighters. Don't need to keep track of the non-critical stuff, I guess. Lots of concentrating fire, mostly missing. Whoa! And here is our first capital ship, capital uh, capital destruction. Uh, Comstar, uh, one of the one of the unions. Looks like uh, third tri uh, third Trinaries Union uh, has destroyed a Comstar Garden Militia uh, Garden Militia Leopard, and does more damage to it. But it's that's the same one, right? Yeah, that's the same one. That's out of con it's out it's out of control and it's destroyed by structural integrity. Yeah, my the Comstar uh, carrier, fi you know, fighter carriers are actually kind of carrying the day. They're seeming to hit more than anybody else. Ahab Squadron lets loose at. Okay, 
Rapier Squadron does a strafing run on the Jolly Roger. And... Oh! Alright, so Mihail's, uh, so the very first Union, that's Mihail's. Mihail's uh, Union does uh, do a good pounding on one of the Comstar Unions. Got some critical hit effects, it's very cool. Oh, and the and the Kelpie. Uh, so the and the and the and the Kelpie opens up, scores some devastating hits on a some devastating hits thruster hits and some critical hits on a pair of enemy unions. So go go gadget Rimworld's Republic dropship that costs more than most warships. Uh, Spad Squadron fires off and finishing up with a Jolly Roger. Uh, Union 2, fire control systems hit. Union 3, hit and destroyed. And that's more damage to Union 3. Alright, so Comstar is out 1. Is that Union 3 or was the other one that was destroyed? Union 4 might be out of control. Yeah, yeah, the Comstar, we'll, we'll get it done. Give us look at it just a second. Heat, I don't care about. Comstars continue to lose. All right, let's zoom out and let's look. So there's one wrecked union and a wreck. So we've lost a leopard and a union for the Comstars. And see the enemy damage bar, which is what I'm controlling. Getting pretty high up there. And most of the uh, most of the clan units looking pretty good. The Iron Eagle starting to show some damage, but for the most part, I have been torn. You know, Comstars getting torn apart. All right, here are the highlights from round eight. Um, the Jolly Roger combined with the Minnesota Wild Squadron, combined firepower on the enemy flagship and its escort, uh, escorting Union, and pounded them to dust. So, an, oh, sorry, so an Overlord and a Union, t uh, uh, an Overlord and a Union, um, or both both destroyed and um, the another enemy unions taken pretty heavy damage uh, the Wolverines did not escape without uh, without damage um, Iron Eagle Squadron 2 has pretty much been uh, has been destroyed so we've taken at least 10 aerospace losses Jolly Roger is rotating um, to match enemy velocity and turning damage sections away from the enemy. So we're going to see how this goes. It's turning more into a uh, turning more into a serious furball here as the formations break up. Um, the Wolverines have taken uh, some significant have taken a little bit of damage. Um, the second union, which is the medium carrying our medium strike, uh, medium uh, mech trinary, took a cargo hit, and five mech warriors were killed in their mechs, basically instantaneously. All right, I'm going to keep going, and uh, you know you can see the lines are intermixing, and people are going to start turning and burning, and we're about to break into a total furball. More details as uh, as they come. This is turn 9, which means the Battle of O'Neill Station has already lasted an hour and a half in game time. Alright, picking this up at the bottom of turn 9. The battle is really spread out. Um, Wolverines have intruders on both of the Comstar flanks ready to sweep in. I've got uh, one thing I want to show you real quick. If you can see the Jolly Roger here. It pulled a U-turn, right? It pulled an Immelman 
after it let the Comstar after it let the Comstar Rex build up enough momentum, not let the Comstar uh, uh, Comstar dropships here, here, and here be moving too fast to turn around. So the the commander of the battle bat of the warship actually managed to out dogfight the dropships and is uh, slipped into their rear, which is just going to be devastating. Haven't resol resolved the fire. Um, the uh, Comstar, uh, Comstar Leopards are, are sweeping around down and across to kind of do what they can to cut to distract. But uh, this union here is pretty much toast. I, I would be amazed if it survives warship fire into its rear arc. Um, the fighters are scrambling a little bit more. The dogfight is now taking place kind of behind the main. You see a lot of Vulcans and, and Ahabs and Goths as the fighters just fighter debris. Um, Iron Eagles have come up on one of the Comstar jump drop ships um, to get a kill shot in there, but the enemy's uh, light, uh, light squadron has uh, come up behind it. And we're going to see how this resolves. So really quick, the Iron Eagle Squadron has gotten a second Comstar Union kill. Scrolling down. Um, the enemy Union number five. Yeah, it took him apart. Um, Leopard fires some decent hits. Doesn't get much, much actual damage. Iron Angel Squadron uh, is dogfighting with my Spad Squadron. Uh, hits are traded, nothing done. Minnesota Wild scores uh, the Minnesota Wild, so Command Squadron scores another dropship kill. That's the same one, isn't it? He's still shooting at him. Enemy fire can't punch through. One of the Wolverine intruders starts to do some serious damage to, uh, well, uh, also combining fire on the Union 5, which is destroyed. And Comstar Ahab makes a uh, makes a strafing run at the Kelpie. Cannot punch through her enhanced armor. Yeah, I know, she looks like a freighter. She's really tough. Comstar, more firepower traded. Cargo bay door destroyed, no big deal. All right, and the, our light trinaries union is hammering away at Comstar squadrons, doing some damage. Yep, now the lighter, the lighter drop ships are starting to take pounding. Scoot down the Kelpie Q strip ship. Oh, and the Kelpie scores a kill on um, scores a kill on a, a enemy fighter carrier. So another enemy, another Comstar dropship down. Um, Wape Rapier Squadron, Comstar Rapier Squadron is taking a, a a real hit. So is that number two? No. Oh, ow! All right. So the Jolly Roger opens fire, and. Pounds in, part of killing number five. Pounds another Comstar, destroys a fighter door, just wreaking havoc. So looks like uh, Comstar's out two more dropships going into round 10. Let's take a look at this really quick. You can uh, look at, take a look at this really quick. You can see the Comstar forces are at 30% uh, of their initial strength and um, the Clan Wolverines have taken 7% casualties. This is a massacre, but we needed to find out how this was going to go. We'll keep looking. Okay, going into round 11, you can see um, there are two fighter squadrons remaining to Comstar. Everything else has been completely destroyed. Um, we did our licks, but it doesn't look like we've even subtracted our battle value from the Wolverines. I've got my light maneuverable spads here and a inexplicably slow moving Ironside squadrons here and just see how long they can last. But this fight's basically over. We're going to see how it keeps going. 
All right, to wrap things up, Mega Mech has frozen up on me. Um, we've got all of my light mechs and two of the iron sides ran out of fuel, maneuvering, and, or our mission kills and salvageable. And I've got one enemy squadron which can probably run away. We're going to call it there. This is going to look like a pretty much complete victory, except for one critical hit on one of the Wolverines, uh, on one of the Wolverines units where uh, five, five of the company's mech warriors got uh, blown away. Uh, so it's going to be one, one star of mech warriors gone from the first, first battle cluster. And that is going to round up the first bit of the space battle. Uh, it's pretty much a slaughter. Um, as you can see, all, except, for, um, except for one squadron, I'll go through and... Uh, I'll go through and, and double check these, but uh, for losses, but I'll be able to tally that up and then we'll call it. And so one last second and then we'll take a look at the mech sheet. We're pretty much done with the battle portion of the of adventure. All right, so here is the follow up. Here's the wrap up for the. Uh, for the first battle cluster and the Trine Super Coat Nova Command. So, this segment of uh, the Wolf Clan Wolverine. In the entire battle, uh, two aerospace fighters were killed. Everything else is repairable damage. Um, and due to uh, attack damage to the Black Ride, five mech warriors from Trinary Supernova Battle were killed uh, in their harness. The biggest effect, Comstar focused a lot of its attacks to try to uh, damage the Jolly Roger, the warship. They did not able, they were not able to to destroy more than a couple auto cannon. But a lucky critical did inflict drive damage, and so that means at the very end, the the um, the Kirini Fuchita drive isn't going to be able to jump till it's repaired, and that repair is going to be three to five days uh, before they're going to be able to uh, get underway again and that means the plan to immediately jump everyone else out to uh, Mars and Venus everybody's going to have to move the old-fashioned way without uh, double jumping and that's going to throw a big crimp into the plans so that's been the battle um, the clan Wolverines kicked a lot of butts which is not unexpected but this is still going to uh, still going to hurt them uh, in the long run. Uh, the drive damage, they were really depending on the Jolly Rogers' ability to double jump to carry out their attack. So we'll see what they're going to plan after this. All right. So thank you for following in and Battle Part 1. And we will see you next time.